Dean Gunnarsson's water tank escape is next. At the start of the show, Tony told you that one of the performers would attempt to recreate Houdini's death-defying escape from the infamous water torture cell. Well, that time has come. Right now, we take you to the promenade just outside the theater for one of the most dangerous escapes ever attempted in the history of magic. One of the main reasons this escape is so impressive is its uh, dangerous simplicity. Dean Gunnison's ankles will be secured and fastened and locked into these wooden stocks. He'll then be hoisted uh, into the air upside down and lowered into the water, where the wooden stocks are fastened and unlocked to the top of the tank. That's the easy part. The dangerous part is that the only oxygen that he's going to have is whatever he takes into his lung right before he's lowered into the water. That's uh, how long he has to complete this escape. Not a second more, not a second less. And right now, I'd like to introduce to you the young man who's going to put his life on the line for us tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, the great escape artist from Canada, Mr. Dean Gunnison, please. Good evening, Dean, I'm happy to see you. Uh, let me ask you, what prompted you to uh, go into this kind of uh, work? Huh? When I was about eight or nine years of age, uh, my mother bought me a book on Houdini and it, it inspired me to do the impossible, much like he did. Did you ever see that movie I made called Houdini? Of course, one of the greatest movies ever made. You got that right. It inspired me to do what we're attempting well, to do here today. How long have you been preparing not only for this escape, but for all your work that you've done? Uh, the escapes take a, a lot of ongoing uh, conditioning and, and endurance. Uh, a lot more has to go into an underwater escape. How long can you hold your breath? I'm good for about two minutes right now, no which kidding. is a long time underwater while you're struggling to, yeah. to save I your life. I understand you're a newlywed. Yes, that, that is the one escape I'll never make. And how long did you hold your breath before you got married? Uh, it was a little longer. <laughs> now, I know you've got a lot of work to do before we get started, so I'm going to let you go ahead and do that, okay? Yes. My best wishes Thank to you. Thank you very let much. Let me take this. Mr. Gunnison, please. Now let's turn this, uh, this escape over to Mr. Gunnison himself. Thank you. The locks that are going to hold the have been examined by a licensed locksmith here in Tokyo. So far, so good, huh? Painful part. Yeah, right. Are you just about ready to go? We're about to attempt uh, Harry Houdini's greatest escape. Right. I'm going to need as much help as we can, but let's do it. Okay. Going to put your cuffs on. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to do it. The clock that you see will be started as soon as Dean's head hits the water. You've heard he can hold his breath for two minutes. And the clock is our way of uh, monitoring Dean's progress. This is the most treacherous part of the experience. He's hyperventilating. You can see him getting ready to go. It's precise. It takes a great deal of uh, concentration. And he's in, ladies and gentlemen. The time has begun. You see the locks being fastened. Even as we speak, checked by the locksmith. And now, they're going to raise the curtain. It's about 20 sec 15 seconds now, ladies and gentlemen. There goes the curtain. The curtain is being raised. All right, now it's all up to Dean. Uh, you know, Dean told me earlier that the fascination with escaping began at the age of nine when his brother bought him a book about uh, Houdini. I'm sure Mrs. Gunnison would think twice about giving him that book if she knew what was going on. Uh, those of you holding your breath along with, uh, imagine yourself upside down and submerged in a tank of water, struggling to break free. You know, I'm getting really nervous about this. I'd like to recommend to all of you uh, Dean Gunnison fan, you know, that Dean is a professional artist, and, and this is a dangerous thing to do. So if any of you at home try to do it, don't try to. Uh, and take all those kids out of the bathtub. All right, uh, we've got Dean's wife right here, Darcy. Well, how do you think things are going? What is the time? I, I've Chris? got about uh, 55 seconds now. Oh, God. No, no, it's usually about two minutes. He'll be okay, but he, you know, I'm really nervous about this. Yeah, well, escape. what shall we do? Oh. I'm really concerned yeah, about I'm this. I'm really worried okay, about uh, him. Can we take a look here? Listen, let's. We've I'm gone far enough with this. Well, what can we do? Shall we drop it? No, we can do. Maybe we can 
Maybe we what? can drop the curtain. Well, yeah. Oh, maybe we can drop the curtain. Can we drop the curtain? Maybe we can drop the curtain. Oh. 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 Ladies and <laughs> Perfect. Dean Gunnison, ladies and gentlemen. Master escape artist Dean Gunnison, ladies and gentlemen. I think there's only one way to follow a performance like that, and that's to bring all of our magicians back out on stage to present them with the first annual Magic Star Houdini Award. Please join me in showing our appreciation for these incredible performers. First from the United States, Rudy Kobe. Ukraine, Galena. From Spain, Juan Tamari. From Canada, Dean Gunnerson. And from the United States, the Pendragon. From all of us here in Tokyo, thank you for joining us for the first annual Magic Star Special. Good night and see you next year.